like, this could happen to you. Be yeah, safe. Yeah, be bear safe. Spray. Carry bear spray. They will jerk you off, <laughs> and they don't know how. <laughs> What? You were talking about your uh, your little drink that you've made. Oh, this is just some piss. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I I haven't tasted it yet. This is your piss. Yeah. I mean, you I worked hard on it. It was really warm. I drank only milk for two days, <laughs> like a lot, dude, <laughs> to make that. Oh, yeah. That's rough. Mm-hmm. That's a little milk st- and gasoline is what does, I drank. Does does does. What you eat obviously changes what your pee smells like because, mm-hmm. like, just like you know, pineapple and semen. Yeah, I would imagine because if I have a, like six cups of coffee and not a lot of water, yeah. you it, it's literally coffee mm-hmm. coming out of your urethra. Yeah, basically. I'm really scared of this. Yeah, if you but drink, I mean, I'm for it. if you drink all milk, mm-hmm. your pee uh, will curdle. <laughs> oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. You can make butter. He's wow. chugging it all. That's you're going for it, man. He just chugged the whole. Oh, <sighs> that's ooh, that's sour. I had a like an exact flashback to Drinking Bros back in the day of French Press Jared right there. Oh, welcome to podcast. To, welcome <laughs> to time for pie. All right, I like this. <laughs> Do we get pie in this episode? Well, well, you know, so weird that you'd mention that. That is weird what that you mentioned pie, that. What kind of pie do you like? What's your favorite Me? flavor? Oh man, cheesecake is that considered a pie? No, Damn it! Pie. That's, not, that's uh, yeah. apple pie probably. Pumpkin pie. Got, we got apple. Well, you got to choose. Yeah. Apple oh, we have. Pumpkin. Oh, shit. You got both. Okay. There's, I'm kind of on I'm like a sure, diet I'm right sure now, but, pumpkin. you know, maybe I'll, I'll fuck with some pumpkin pie. I don't, Pu- know, I don't know if there's pumpkin. I don't think there is. Yeah. He's just, uh, he's over there checking the, uh, the pie inv- inventory. The yeah. inventory. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, my God. You have like single serve pies. Are you what going you apple want? pie? Uh, oh wow! You know, I'll go. I'll go blackberry. blackberry? Yeah, blackberries, dude. Yeah, yeah, of course. There it is right Cheers. there. I have not seen these in dude, like in lightly a, glazed, dude, yeah. and they're cold. They're nice and man. Cold, this is dude. gonna pair with this piss. Yeah, yeah. JJ's pies. Uh, stopped at a oh, gas station, and they God, had a new inventory. Caleb. Dude, this is this is super nutritious for like a morning. You know, it's kickstart really your day. Not too bad. Yeah. Sixty grams of carbs uh-huh. in this bitch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna maybe I'll try that later. <laughs> y'all, y'all can mm. y'all can deep dive into that. Yeah, yeah, take your word for it. A- I'm hoping we get that JJ's pie sponsor. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be pretty legit. We gotta get we a pie sponsor for this podcast. Yeah, that's what we need, man. Because uh-huh. then you could do so many commercials like HJ's and JJ's. Mm-hmm. Those are two things that pair well. Yeah, Caleb that, and I were talking nice. right yeah. before the show started about yeah. two things that are pairings. great that don't pair, and I think we we talked about pooping and and vagina. It's not yeah. it's. Pooping you don't and, want and, those two things yeah, together. Yeah, pooping and licking a vagina. Yeah, it's, were, was exactly what we were I talking don't about. Want those yeah. and uh, I just drank a bunch of piss. You're hurting my stomach. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but that cued me up for a memory I had once. Oh uh, God, me and uh, one of my girlfriends uh, were getting freaky in a car one time, mm-hmm. and uh, I started smelling shit. And, oh. I, and it was right as that was happening, as I was like going down, and I like almost threw up. Question. <laughs> yeah. What temperature was it outside? It was summer. I was going to say, this sounds like, <laughs> yeah, a, sounds like a, a warm few story. More details this is summertime. Of, yeah. of, summer in the holler? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is summer in summer, West this Virginia. Is on, in a back road up the woods. And uh, so, you know, I get a real intense whiff of, of poo poo, doo doo. Doo doo. Doo doo. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm like trying to smell around and, and see, see. And, and investigate without being, you know, being like nonchalant. You were kind of like uh, a bomb dog. You were like, I was like, okay. I was like, I, eventually, I was like, hey, there's shit in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and we found out she had stepped in like a huge pile of shit uh, <laughs> right, right before we got in. Thank there. God. I thought you I were did. like same, looking in her same. underwear and saying that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just in See, I, I pull out my phone my out and like light up you're her like, underwear. <laughs> you've like got her underwear and you're looking up at her. You're like, like there's shit in here. There, there's a whole turd in your underwear. <laughs> but no, it was I found it. it really it fucked me up. Like it, it the moment was over. I was like, I can't. Really? I can't do it. I can't continue now because I was licking this and it was just really intense shit smell because the she's in the car seat like backwards and I'm like the shoe is right next to her leg. Right. So it was the just car really seat? That, was, <laughs> that randomly like a child's car seat. <laughs> 
like the seat of the car. <laughs> yeah. I just keep getting. You're really not good at making me imagine what's going on. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, like, she's backwards in the car seat. Yeah. What? <laughs> I yeah, smell shit. A normal uh, car seat, not a child's car seat. I feel like though, what you know, when we think about veterans, a lot of people don't realize how hard this specific transition is. Is yeah. For a long time, masturbating in a porta john, that's the only place you could do it on a yeah. fob, and you were smelling poop. And so well, there I mean, was I just an association. Not to breathe. Right, but there might be a mild association with poop and, and mm. erotic excitement. Dude. And so it takes time to get over that. I can relate to that. I get boners in when my dog takes way. a poop, dude. It's weird. I can, just that's, kidding. <laughs> no, I get it, man. No, I, I can see that happening. Um, I used to work on oil rigs, and yeah. it was bullshit. Like you, you had like a bunk mate. And you had like no alone time and we're working like 16. It's like you're fucking, it's 16 hours a day for yes. a fucking 14 days straight. It was horse shit. So the only time I could jack off was in the porter party. Yep. So I did it like every morning, dude, like at six, six AM we'd be out there going, doing the meeting and stuff. And then I'd go do my bullshit for a while and then I'd go beat off in the porter party. And Are you, cause you take weightlifting super serious. Are you one of those guys that refuses to, to like masturbate? an hour mm -mm. or before mm -mm. gym no, workouts dude, if i'm if i'm too uh wound up i gotta get it out right yeah, okay no, yeah i'm not one of those guys that like i'm not gonna jack off i'm gonna save my testosterone to build muscles no i don't think that's real it's, no it's not you. it's not enough coming out of your nut to to be well, wasn't it already mine. made too i feel like can we get a doctor to talk oh, about that's why, why I, that's why i eat yeah mine you're not I yeah <laughs> you're not <laughs> you, you're not you just self cycle yeah, yeah it's disgusting. a self cycle you're that's not what it's just called shooting yeah. out testosterone yeah. out of your dick like it's your it's jizz if you mix it with mustard you don't get the taste with troll nectar and troll nectar and knowing yeah. you for over a decade i know there's no way you're touching semen exactly you know i'm lying my fucking ass off right now i hate it uh you want to hear try to get it all out of me yeah, just because I hate it. You're, you're punching your balls because they keep, they keep, they keep all of it out. They keep making jizz. You're like, stupid boss, stop making cum. Stop making cum. You're just trying to destroy them. Now I get that. Yeah. Uh, I Check remember some. one time we were driving up to the house and I was with all my sisters and my mom and it was like summertime. There's chestnut trees everywhere uh, in the summertime. They start getting really like a smell going. And uh, my mom, of course, was like, oh, I hate this time of year. All the chestnut trees smell like cum. And I was like, and I was little, dude. <laughs> and I remember being like, what? And then, my, that? and then my sisters were like, yeah, me too. I hate it. And she's like, what? She's like, why do you know what it smells like? <laughs> And then like they were all cracking up. And then I was in the back like, oh, what? <laughs> no, my life is ruined. Uh, like, the, the, the chestnut, chestnut trees was the catalyst like, to have yeah, the talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah, all your sisters are like, God, I hate when the scum smells out everywhere. You're like, yeah. uh, what? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Chestnut trees. Yeah. Huh? Apparently, whenever they're God. like blooming. And, and here I thought this was an informational podcast. I'm yeah, learning, people are learning an exorbitant dude. amount of information. Oh, they're it. learning. Yeah. They're learning about fucking grapevines and chestnut it's trees. Freaking grapevines. And I saw the comments. There was, Shut up. There was, there like, was a few. Uh, there was like there was a, a couple. It was every couple. No, it was, there was a couple. <laughs> I don't think there was any that didn't say There was like two or three ish. <laughs> like, what about grapevines? I missed this one. We're just talking about like growing up uh, like in the mountains, like yeah. in a mountainous region. There's a, Have you heard of grapevines? Yeah. Okay, you know what it is, right? Like riding a grapevine. Like if someone said that to you, would you know what it, that means? No. Okay. Doesn't compute. Wow, he's from California. Okay, that makes sense. So on the other side- I or, think of grapevines, yeah. I think of vineyards. So yeah, I don't. okay, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> on the other side, there's like wild grapevines. And it's not like grapes for human consumption. It's just oh. like wild grapes. And uh, they it's just like a huge root that grows up trees. And like growing up for fun, you would cut those like, you know, fucking knee height and fucking swing on them. It was oh. just like Tarzan shit. Okay. Okay. So, like everyone, you know, east coast and anywhere mountainous, like has rode a grapevine at some point in their life. So I was talking about that, and he was like, "What?" He's like, "Bullshit!" That no one's ever heard of that. I was like, "Comment if you know what I'm talking about." There was like was two like, or three people. Like, there's a lot. Of, like, there's a lot of grapevine like riders. Hundred. No, there was so, like yeah, there were like eight, for, yeah, grapevine. I believe like at the max eight. No, it was a lot. Like a dozen. <laughs> like a baker's like a dozen. Few dozen. That sounds fun though. Yeah, I'd it was it. fun. Shit. But you'd almost die. He showed a lot. us a YouTube yeah. video. He was like eight years old. Yeah, it was like was him a... swinging on a grapevine, and then he gets molested. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. A bear, a bear <laughs> comes out. Like not like a big hairy guy, yeah. like an actual yeah. Bear. like a black yeah. bear. Black yeah, yeah. Bear. Black he puts bear. his big paw on his head, on his and he starts dingling. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> even like do it right. It's just like smacking around on my like dick and stuff. 
I still finish, but it's all on YouTube. <laughs> that's the start of your career. Yeah, that's what started my career. It's educational. Yeah, that's yeah, why YouTube educa- keeps it up. They leave it up. TikTok leaves that up, abandoning yeah, the guns. They're like, this could happen to you. Be yeah, safe. Yeah, be bear safe. Spray. Carry bear spray. They will jerk you off, <laughs> and they don't know how. That's <laughs> that's why these bears will jerk you the fuck off, but they don't know how. <laughs> that's how you market bear spray. They because they will yeah. try to jerk you off, that's and they're not good at it. Out. They no. have claws. It's claws and rough hands. Yeah, I know you got you've seen the fucking. You they're not even rough. Them. They're pads. Yeah, they're like it's just Brillo a, pads. A Brillo like, pad. Like if if you could cut a bear's arm off and have the right to bear bear arms, you use them. You, you could use them as dish yeah. like dish like uh, fucking yeah. like, scrubbers. Oh, it's like so the, the the hard part yeah. of it's so painful. It turns you. It turns you into just f- hamburger meat. Yeah, it's messed up. Yeah, but that's yeah. why you should get bear mice. Did you hear this? That like polar bears are having sex with grizzlies now, and they're calling them like, like plizzies or something. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know the because name of it, but like yeah, certain ice caps are melting and pushing them more inland or yeah, something. Yeah, and so like we're gonna have like grizzly super bear polar it, it bear super bear cool super too. bear it's like a weird golden color right yeah i think, I think I know so what you're talking about yeah and they oh get more aggressive God. because yeah. polar bears are like one of three species that you know hunts humans for pleasure i think it's like polar bears humans and uh like i forget wolves maybe yeah, I don't know. something fucking crazy bro super bear and yeah. it's gold yeah, yeah. I think I, I want a, a new t-shirt. One. I think if we ever get to the point where we have our like a, a huge ranch where we can have game on it, I think we should get a few bears and we should Agreed. start crossbreeding them. Cro- I yeah. think we should get like a Kodiak polar bear and see and what a, happens. And, we should, and we'd have to make yeah. little like cards about ourselves that say bear breeders yeah, because yeah. that's a really cool thing to say. Like yeah. I'm a bear breeder. What do you guys, what do, you guys do now? Like, yeah. We you, just breed bears. You bred a bear and a giant snake. Do you that's think, yeah. fucking terrifying. What would, if a polar bear and a black bear had sex, would it be like a, a zebra bear? You know? like a, be, It'd be like a panda. panda. So it's a panda. Oh. Yeah, that already happened. They were doing it in Japan. That's what That's how pandas came to Back in Tangier. They yeah, somehow got there. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. dude, pandas, and that's are, where pa- the word panda comes through from Pangea. Pangea. Oh yeah. my fucking we terrifying god. god! That looks yeah. like a yeah. wolf, yeah. dude. It does, and a fucking scary. polar bear. That thing is terrifying. It's like a polar bear. It's, with a it's brown like a bear white mobile. bear with yeah. a brown stripe down the back, and yeah. that that's cool. Yeah, I want I like one. I'm just, Mike, like Mike Tyson's going to be the first legal owner of one of those. God, lucky ass, dude. The fucking. But like a bear and a python, they're like, what? You're like, it's so scary. And breed them together? So oh, wow. scary, yeah. I don't know if it's, I like that. <laughs> it's so scary. I don't know if I want that to it's happen. It's so fucking that's, scary, That's when dude. God comes in and is like, hey, no. Hey. Hey, hey, cut hey, it hey, out. Hey. All right, stop. Hey, no. No, no, Jared no. Jared and Caleb. No, no, stop no. It. No, no, no. Flood. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> where where would the python be on the bear though? Oh, would it like God, would it dude. be like like a like a freaking alien in the movie where it like it snaps out of its butthole where it's you're like looking at the rear end and the python oh, wow. comes out? I think it I think it's like, like a giant or... like like just muscly but it's scaly like a snake, so it could be camouflage. Whoa. And then it has it's like a it has, it has scaled like a, bear dude, like a yeah. scaled beak, but there's giant fangs. Oh, and it can like, unhinge. Yeah. It can yeah. unhinge his fucking face. It can face. make his face. Yeah. It's like completely it's like, like oh. it's, it's top <laughs> top jaw is touching its back. It could fit a fucking skid steer in its yeah. mouth. <laughs> All right, let's go raise a million dollars and make the fucking movie. Let's bear see. snake. Yeah. Come yeah. yeah, yeah, on a plane. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine like that bear <laughs> unhinging? It's jaw. Yeah. It's like it just keeps going. Uh, it's like how the inside of their mouths look like a scary vagina, and it's just like keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, like, you're like, oh, what? and it could literally just one bite you, dude. That'd be cool. Fuck. That'd be awesome. This is a terrifying. Instead movie. of but instead of just the two big fangs, it's rows of fucking oh, bear teeth. Oh, it's got yeah, it's, it's like got multi rows. Big fangs. You're like, oh like no, 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 no. But though, then we also mix the the semen of the snake with a rattlesnake, and so the tail of the bear. <laughs> You know? Yeah, but it's kind of chubby though. So it's yeah, just yeah. yeah it's, but it's more like no, a it's mace. like a yeah, yeah. 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 it's like a, it's it's huge. It's, it's like terrifying they, sound. Oh, yeah, yeah the, the frequency can't be that high. It has to no, be like chug 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 where you hear that you're like fucking what bear the snakes in there. That? I'm out. It, it the sounds like snake. somebody is jackhammering iron. Yeah, like 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 a battleship. And it's fast too. Pong pong pong. We're gonna have to bring Steve Irwin back to life. Yeah, to help us. He's the only one that's gonna be able. He's to the tame only one. one. Tame Hammer Chris yeah. Pratt. He's a fucking legend. Chris huh? Pratt can tame it. Oh yeah, he probably yeah, would. Yeah, he, he, he tamed he a raptor, Velociraptor yeah, yeah, yeah. in Jurassic Park. Yeah, he did. He did Man, do that. 
I kind of want to see this creature that we've created. I, I want to envisioning it, but I'd like to see. Are it there scales out. over the entirety of the bear, or is it just I kind think, of like on I, the shoulders, I like select armor positions? Yeah, yeah, I think it's kind of its shoulder area. It turns to fur. I feel, yeah, mm. I feel like those one velociraptors that started having feathers in spots. Yeah. I feel like we could do a mix of that. So it's like scales, and then there and are feathers. sections that have fur. So we need like a turkey or a chicken or some dinosaur blood DNA. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This thing's mm-hmm. scary. Yeah. What would its nipples look like? Like, I'm, I don't think they'd be normal it just bear has nipples. Udders. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got a set of udders. No, like, I don't know. Hey, what go that milk that. What, what, what if we crossbred it with a shark and it has gills, so it can swim with and still fucking breathe? We're making it too. We're making it's it too, too complex. Scary. Yeah, it's getting too scary. Okay. Yeah. This is like you can it never just, get away. We might from as well would just put wings on it too, and then <laughs> it's just it's Earthland. That's and great. Yeah. Send yeah. that bitch to the Russian Ukraine conflict. Someone's gonna. It's gonna be over real quick. We just breed monsters. Monsters of war. <laughs> Monsters that's, of war. Yeah, that's, that's like, their job. America just keeps making these really fucking scary <laughs> things and releasing them in our countries. Like, like yeah, stop doing war. Yeah. yeah, yeah give yeah. us the oil. Stop the war. Give us the oil. And we'll stop stop. sending the rattlesnake bear eagle shark what, what, what if you what if you this is what i've always wanted to do if you if you somehow genetically transformed a seagull to be like 10 times the size because they like to shit on people yeah. you could like like with a falcon but then you could tame it and then send it to go shit on people that would be a really fun thing yeah those are huge Just because you don't know, even get pooped yeah. on by a seagull they purposely will fly over and you shit on you like they're wow. they're they're terrorists yeah. they're they're sky terrorists yeah they, they suck i know they're uh any, any trace of food if you have it they're no and if like i used to like tease yeah. them with like the anchovies you catch and shit uh, and then they would just you wouldn't give it to them they just run and just right, you know bitch, fucking here's some shit. Like, kamikaze run you with their you want to play this game here you go Eat yep. shit. yeah but, but if a 10 a, te- a seagull 10 times that size yeah they just He's kill like, people that's probably. a lot of poop yeah. Yeah. i've been <laughs> eating sushi all day you could you could paint a lot of shiplap with that yeah. poop you know that's a yeah. lot of white stuff <laughs> Just use it as paint. Yeah. <laughs> seagull shit. This paint is smelly. Yeah, what are you guys raising these giant seagulls for for the paint? For paint. What? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> not what. And then this other thing? Yeah. That's for war. That's for yeah, war. That's that's war. war the cage is just shaking. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? Does that have laser eyes? No, that's for painting shit lap. A big seagull. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, do, what does it do? That for paint. It shits. Yeah. We're we trying just, to sell to Williams, you know, Sonoma, or whatever. You want some paint? They're like, that's not what that's for. Yeah. It works. Yeah, look, it's like smelly and it's rotting over here. There's maggots on. Over the wall. Yeah, you guys. This is a very. This is very nice. No, well, yes. We could repurpose the magus as chicken food. There, there's. It's a whole ecosystem we okay, could build with this yeah. thing. You know. Okay. Oh, yeah. This beer is scary. Yeah, I yeah. would like to. I mean, uh, you know, if Seth is listening right now, he, he likes to that. draw he the thing. things yeah. that we talk about. God, so Seth, Seth is Louis, a legend. Yeah, yeah. I want, you know, I want to see two versions though. I want to see badass version of bear and snake. Yeah. And then the oh fuck, what did we do version? Yeah, it's like the right. front end of a bear, but it's draggy, yeah. like half yeah. slugs. Yeah. yeah. And it just hates its life. Part of yeah. a Kia Sereno. <laughs> Can you imagine the roar it would make when it lays eggs? Just like. <laughs> just like <laughs> like pooping out a yeah. fucking egg this Giant big. Giant egg. Yeah, fucking- but what if it did something even creepier? Like it just smacked its, its fucking gigantic fucking death claw on something three times, like when he's about to kill you. And you know that. That's like, oh, it when you hear the smack, smart, smack, the signal. Smack, smack, smack. You're like, oh, no. I think the tail comes around and slaps the scales. It's like a shuk, shuk, shuk thing, yeah. you know? Yeah, maybe it does something yeah. cool. Yeah. I feel like we should reach out to Diablo 4 and see if they can put can this as one of the monsters. There, yeah. yeah. Can, can, we, a side can quest, we make a please? creature? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, if anybody out there is making a video game that will let us make a creature. You can put this in there. That'd be great for yeah. us. Yeah. And it's a boss level. Yeah. And it's and we voice it. Yeah. All the sound effects. Yeah. And then we really hate our competition because they mix like a cat and a llama. And we're like, you guys aren't even fucking on the same level, dude. Like no. a cat and a llama? What the, but it's a house cat, you too. You try? You like, do you fucking try? Did you see what we built? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what we built? I mean, just, scary. A, just imagine like a sh- a snake with a great white's face. Like oh, that's that cool. has just like like 80 rows of teeth. That's just like actively coming at you, like chomping. But like, it's only weakness cool. is still the nose. Yeah. I just like the bear's mouth becoming a snake. That, that, that's yeah. that terrifying. That thing just unhinging like. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you remember? Uh, Annihilation. Yep. Yeah. That's what and I that had. That bear mind. like fucking yep. unhinges its jaw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought about. Yeah, same. It's like a better cocaine bear movie. That movie was a letdown. I didn't watch it. I haven't watched it either. It started out really good, and then it was a letdown. If people hate me for saying that, I don't give a fuck. They could have done so much more with that thing. True. 
<clears throat> I, good I concept, need, though. I still need to watch it, yeah. Good concept. Well, it's supposed to be like based on a real event or something, right? That happened? It's a hundred. It's a documentary, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's no actors. It's <laughs> oh, all real. It was just film, it was Nat Geo that made this. This was just filming this in real time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are you drinking P2? Yeah, I've got sick piss. <laughs> that's why it's Hold red. it to the camera. Yeah. It's, oh, that's right there. That's why it's red. It's got a little blood in it. Well, you know, all pee comes Why from do you blood. fucking have blood when you're sick? <laughs> you guys don't piss blood when you're sick? No. Oh, that was just like the body trying to get rid of the sickness. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of like a sauna, but for your penis. You're, you're peeing out like iron and, and heavy metals yeah, and toxins. It's, it's like a period for a boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No. 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 Having a cold is like the same as having a period. You can have those now in 2023, yeah. right? It doesn't matter. I think so. No. But, I mean... I'm better now. I got it all out. I hope so. Yeah. And then you re-drink it. Right? Yeah, it filters it. But right. it's, yeah. it, I can smell it from here. It's delicious. It smells like a scab. It kind of is. <laughs> from the inside. And there's blood cells in both, so I <laughs> guess, yeah. I mean, that's fucking nasty, but all right. Oh, God, why? <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble. I mean, we can make more. We can always make more. <laughs> We're just in trouble for... Making this creature? Not that. This show. Yeah. How's your know. how's your pee settling? You you okay? Yeah. You oh yeah. That. Yeah. You really I'm checked good. that. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know that sour. You got to get over the sour hump with that that little kick. Mm-hmm. Once you get over that, that's the milk that's in it. Ugh. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. It's yummy. He's the only person <laughs> I know that has backup milk in his car in his truck right yeah. now. Yeah. Are you a big milk, milk guy? Five gallons. Uh, Are you 2% drink, whole? I'll do 2%. Yeah, yeah. I'll do 2%. Uh, I'll uh, take a sip of some milk almost every night, <laughs> <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm honest. Yeah. Because it's just part of my ritual that has never went away, uh, which is a big spoon of peanut butter before mm, bed. That's and nice. And then I'll wash it down with some milk. What if I built you... <laughs> Why are you already laughing? Because <laughs> we're talking about milk, and then you're talking about building something from me. Yeah. And, and I know because, it's going to be you're going to build something what, milk-related. What, what if I built you, like, something that was refrigerated, and you had a little pull string next to your bed, and you'd pull it, and a bunch of udders would drop, and you could just sip off of it, and then it goes back up. And, and it's, it's cold. Ref- yeah, and it's refrigerated. Oh. Man, that'd be nice. That'd be right to sleep. See, bed I think you got it all wrong. It's a chassis system that we build into the wall, and then it's a, like a lever that he pulls, and it drops a, a actual female cow or male, if that's your thing. It's a lot and then the, the, uh, that's the, the udders, milk, are they yeah. udders, right? Yeah. They're just right there. You can't see, refrigerate a cow. No, you don't need to refrigerate it's, the cow. The cow's alive. He doesn't want more. It's more, fresh, yeah. warm milk. He doesn't want warm milk. Warm milk puts you to bed 25 Five percent faster than cold I've, milk. I've not done it since I was little, little, but they <laughs> <laughs> gave me a chill thinking about it. Did but, you use uh, the right out of the source? Yeah, yeah, it's straight, tasty. Yeah, straight from the source. But uh, yeah, I mean, they say. <clears throat> I mean, it's like most. It was milk, weird. It's like creamer. Almost. I would get milk from my horse. Yeah, very rich. Yeah, I would get milk from my horse, but my horse only had one udder. <laughs> my horse was a big old boy. <laughs> Weird it, was big, it was a big udder. I get it from my horse's udder. His name and when I came Jimmy. to milk him, it just kept getting <laughs> yeah. bigger. It's just, he just had one big udder. Mm. Yeah, but there was a lot of milk. He had to do a crazy thing to make it come out. <laughs> Here we are with fucking horses again. <laughs> I don't horses. even know what to say. You can't yeah. stop with the horses. Yeah. It's just because they're so goofy. Dude. They're so fucking, <laughs> they are majestic, but they're fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> They trip one time, they're fucked up, and you gotta put them they're down. They're fucking getting inside Jeez, the their goddamn. Feet grow too big till they die. Like, one of the really? Fucking the, yeah, their hooves just grow and grow and grow. And if they're not taken care of, which makes no sense, like, I get it. They're out in the wild. Like, it, 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 happens. it's regenerative, yeah, right? Like, it, it, when you're a wild horse, your body, like, knows how to fucking work. It's like, oh, okay, I gotta chip these bitches away. Oh, I'm a wild horse. I have to chew up rocks or else my teeth are going to grow too big and I can't fucking eat anymore. Like that's the problems you deal with when you have horses like kept somewhere. It's like right. their, their hooves grow too big, their teeth get too big and you got to file them down because then they can't grind their food up and they just choke and die. Like, it's like the weird people that don't clip their fingernails and they like curl up yeah, and, and all those things. Like super yeah, practical. It's so yeah, so scary. it's like funny to think about how these things survive in the wild, but it's just like that's, they were, they're bred when they're in the wild, their bodies grow 
to Norm. suit yeah like how they're supposed to be but then it's like oh well i got this nice place to live now i'm gonna get fucked up dude <laughs> yeah watch this <laughs> i'm watching me fucking fall apart <laughs> watch this shit they bend their legs backwards <laughs> like you can fucking kill me now dude. <laughs> what the fuck man all you had to do was stand dude <laughs> What's the like highest density of wild horses? It's got to be like Montana, Idaho, oh, yeah, or some for shit. Sure. Uh, at least here, I think uh, in the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Montana, I believe. I, I, yeah, that's a, it's just wild guess. horses running yeah, around. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, See, will fuck you up. You hunt them like deer. I, I mean, they might, man. You never know. Ooh, I'm gonna go horse hunting. Yeah. What? <laughs> just mount mount a head on a horse. <laughs> What's that? One? What's that? What's that? Wild moose with no antlers on? <laughs> yeah, like, sure, that's a horse. That's Australia. A horse. That's a Australia has the most wild horses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, makes it makes sense. sense. Australia. Well, I was is saying like five percent. Like Conus. I mean, I was It's a sure. big place. Australia. Yeah. There's a lot of wild shit out there, dude. Like everything wants to kill you and eat you. It's pretty cool. It's hot. It's, it's like I feel like we're the juvenile version of Australia and Texas. Texas? Yeah. 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 We're like we're sense. in like the eighth grade. They're like yeah. the seniors, you know. Yeah, I lived in Australia for a few years when I was little. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Correct. I think did I, I already talked about that on an episode of the podcast. Didn't Not I? here. I think you have later, uh, like before. But uh, yeah, it, we had when we first moved there, a woman had to come and teach us everything to look out for, like really? every day. And it was, I remember being little and being like so shocked, but her hands were fucking gigantic. Like, like they looked like actual baseball, like mitts, mitts. because <laughs> she got bit by some spider and it fucked her up. We called for, her for life. Mitts. Yeah. Like her hands, it like did some Miss kind mitts. of weird shit to her blood and like her hands, like the muscles in them, like got all deformed. And then like her hands just became gigantic. She's and we'll your like coach. Just, that was, she was like, yeah, she's like, don't let this happen to you. <laughs> she pulls them out from yeah. the fucking You're like, Whoa, You're like, dude. Ah! She pulls them out of her pocket and a gust of wind hits you. Know? <laughs> oh, those stink. Yeah. Oh, they're what, pussy. What they're dead. They're pussy. <laughs> they're dead. Fill them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had to watch like a video and she's like, all right, well, you got to check your shoes every day because like snakes and spiders. Check the uh, the rim of your toilet seats because same shit. Lizards, snakes, spiders, they'll just get there and they'll fucking bite you right on your shit. That'd be uh, the worst thing to be like a little tipsy and you wake up oh, at God. two in the morning. You're just like, I'm just... Not gonna pull the seat up. It's my, my chicks got it down. I'm just gonna sit down, and then a fucking snake just bites yeah, you in the coochie. Yeah, a small like a fucking black mamba yeah. right there, and just bites you right on your dick. And then you're like, "Whoop! There's my dick." R.I.P. Code. There, by it's the way. literally gone. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. God, that would suck. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, it was beautiful. I had an awesome time. Yeah, but time, still, like, but you, scary. You can't go in fresh water anywhere in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without some, you're scary like, oh, shit. you know what? I'm just gonna pop on down to the lake and get a swim in. Dumped it. Why not? <laughs> Oh, why not? Everything. Did everything in there. Yeah. From crocodiles to alligator gar. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm talking like crocs. Yeah, sc- crazy shit. Oh, uh, I thought it was like the bacteria that goes up your pee hole. No, no. Probably no. that too. Yeah, that yeah. too. Like the blowfish that just gets in there. And- I, I would say Australia makes some one. hard motherfuckers, dude. Like like in the UFC, motocross. Like oh, those, yeah. They're fucking crazy people. It's just because they grow up doing goofy shit all day long and it's like Agreed. normal to them. They're like, go yeah, outside, I'm gonna go throw do- rocks at each other. That's literally, that was, did I tell you that? No. <laughs> that was my, that rock wars. That was literally when we went to, so we went over there because my dad works in the coal mines and his company was opening up like mines over there and we went to like this huge cookout with like his new like the owner of that mine and he was like you know meeting all the new dudes working for him and stuff and all the families were there but all these like australian kids man like same kids my age and there was like a, a motocross track in their backyard and they were doing all kinds of cool shit to begin with these like little kids fucking seven and eight doing fucking backflips and shit but after they were done they're like, oh, I wish you'd play Rock Wars. <laughs> and just like, I was like, oh, cool. What's that? They're like, they're, let's just throw rocks at each other's fucking faces. That's what it was. We wow. were little kids, like hiding behind these like dirt jumps, just launching rocks at each other's heads, man. And I remember being like, holy shit. And like hiding and being like, I don't, I don't feel like I shouldn't be doing this. But one kid like drilled another kid in the face and like blood was like coming out of like his head and like the kids came or the parents came down and they're like oh what the fuck are you doing he's like i said no more rock wars <laughs> uh, what like, the fuck are you doing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> said no more walk wars yeah, so i was like man i mean like telling my like mom and dad on the way home i was like man I was like, they were just playing some game where they threw rocks each other's faces it's like that was their game and your mom and dad were like why didn't you join in did you join in yeah what are you what are you some little pussy was he yeah you little pussy so was he like right? your mom turns around you little pussy she gives me like a titty twister like indian brown. she has a rock in her pocket yeah, yeah. She launches it right at my <laughs> yeah. head point, you a sharp point, one go out there and <laughs> yeah. win <laughs> gotcha, you little bitch. Out, bitch what do you think the adults were doing uh, we were playing rock wars in the front yard <laughs> with bigger rocks <laughs> 
We had Boulder Wars. We had Boulder Wars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she like pulls her shirt up. She's like, like bleeding. Bleed. Oh, God. Bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's bleeding bad. Pops the tit of the neighbor. God yeah. dang it. Fuck. You got me good. I'm out. I'm good. <laughs> the whole tit just yeah. falls out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, it was awesome. Beautiful. Uh, a lot of fun as a child. Like some of my best memories for sure. But yeah, it was. That's literally. They're just all badass. Like from as a child, they're like, "Yeah, let's do fucking cartwheels off this cliff into the ocean." That's my like. That's my fun Tuesday. And that, what ages was that for you? That was uh, nine through almost eleven. Oh, nice. Yeah, solid two years out yeah, there. Yeah, those are formative years too. Yeah, that's yeah, good. dude. And it was oh, like long flight. Do you remember that? Yeah, flight? it was sixteen hours just like, on that fucking plane, yeah. dude. Yeah, it was. And you're awful. just a kid. Just yeah, like I mean, it wasn't so up. bad for me because I just went to sleep a lot. And they had like the you know I could watch movies and shit, so it wasn't like too bad. Sixteen hours straight. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah, it, dude, it sucked. I would I'd have like eight Ambien in my pocket. But you to had get like a lot. I remember they journey. like all the meals were like fucking great. Yeah. Like and because I think we like they whatever they flew us on was because of it was being on dad's like company, so they flew us like in mm-hmm. top quality. So all the meals were like really awesome. I remember being like, what the fuck? It was like lobster tails and yep. shit. So it was <clears throat> it was like enjoyable as a kid, but as an adult, I'd fucking hate it. I got fortunate when we, because when I was contracting, that's what they, they'd fly us business class over. Yeah, yeah. And I was doing that like there and back almost there and back once a month. Yeah. And so, yeah, same thing. It would be yeah, like yeah. nine hours or whatever, 11 to like Austria and yeah. then another five or six hours. But yeah, like the yeah. food was fucking dope. They come yeah, out with like man. steak, surf and You're turf like, and shit and Lufthansa yeah. Airlines. Yeah, I'm like, sure it probably wouldn't be. Right. If you had a good Shrimp, seat. Yeah, it wouldn't oysters. be too bad just getting. No, the ones that like, re, like they like lay down and have yeah. beds in them. That's and, nice. And then you yeah. see the poor son of a bitch in like economy middle seat for a fucking 12 hour <laughs> flight. <laughs> Dude, I'd, I would die. Yeah, yeah. You can't I'd even. Be, sit I'd be in paralyzed. Anymore. Yeah, I'd be paralyzed. Can you even fly? It sucks. It really for sucks. everybody else in that row. Yeah, and me. And as you well. just pick middle seats. I thankfully, if I'm doing them, I never pick them. And whenever like a company is like, all right, well, uh, I'm gonna fly here. I'm like, give me an aisle seat. I'm like, yeah, do not get me anything else. I will be so ungodly angry when I get there yeah. because I'm gonna be in pain. <laughs> Because I'm like having to sit with my arms crossed and like I can't like like sit correctly. So, dude, it just fucking sucks. That's like the pompousness in me for sure. Yeah. Is when if I'm flying over like an hour, I am actively trying to get first class in, a, sure. in an aisle seat. It, it just yeah. makes it like if you have the means to do it, yeah. fucking fuck all that. <clears throat> yeah, especially if you're traveling for work, dude, yeah. and like you're going to an event or something, you got to be like in a, a good mood, ready to fucking go. And you get there and you're fucking tired as hell because you, you like sat weird for four hours and the you're dude, like, the dude's elbows yeah. fucking poking you yeah, inside. One's, one's under your elbow and one's over your other elbow. So you're like sitting crooked and your arms are crossed and you're just like in some weird position the whole time. Yeah, not a good time. No, thank you. Yeah, fuck no, that. Planes you. give me the most first world problem shit because my hey, my, same, yeah. my two and a half hour flight the other day to, to LA, like three day, two days ago, yeah. didn't have Wi Fi. So mm. pissed off. What the That's fuck? Annoying. It's 2023. Where the fuck's my Wi Fi? Like, oh, it's out. <laughs> Yeah, I've kind of now been like, it's kind of like a break. Like, oh, it's true. I can just Yay. not do nothing. But the, but the only reason I wanted they didn't even have entertainment, so they had no screens. Had so, uh, but it was yeah. actually cool. I went sure. through random little story. I went to videos and scrolled all the way back to like the genesis of like the company. And it was really cool. Like all the art 15 days, I I had like a little, a little flashback time. It was really cool seeing a shit ton of the videos back in the day in your garage and all this other stuff. So how many we've done it. I was like, we've done a lot of fucking cool shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah, I forget so much over I've the years. I've been doing that a lot, like, especially this last year, <clears throat> is just <clears throat> trying to organize my photo album. There's 28,000 pictures on We could phone. make a fucking hour and a half movie with what we have. Just on photos phones. and videos. Yeah. yeah. Did oh, you guys yeah. watch the uh, the Arnold Netflix one? No. The, his new documentary? Yeah. No, I haven't watched that one yet. I watched his show, the new one that came out, but I haven't watched his documentary. Documentary? I, I really, I would say, like, watch it. It's awesome. Cool. He's an oh, inspiring yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, I like Arnold real well. Some of his other goofy shit that he's done in the last few years have been, you know, whatever. But uh, overall, I like Arnold. Oh, wasn't he in an action series or some shit? The real yeah, yeah. He's got some new show that came out. It, it's it, like if you watch it, it just be like, oh, this is like a somewhat a family show. Ah. But like a little over the top. Uh, it's good. I, I watched it all. I'm like, you know what? This is a this is when I can watch okay. and be fine with. Like, it's a, a good sit down with you know your family kind of show. They don't really say anything too crazy, but it goes to some weird places sometimes. So that's like nice. You're like, oh, it's, it's funny that he's saying goofy <laughs> shit like this. So yeah, nice. it was good. Nice. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 
Well, we have to watch this documentary now. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I'll watch that. It's motivating. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's like about his like, whole life pretty much, right? That- yeah, he kind of just talks about like his perspective on life and his journey from, you know, from Austria all the way through everything. Yeah. So it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I, I enjoyed it. He's, he's got a lot of good perspectives on business and life and family and all that shit. So Sweet. it's cool. Yeah. Well, we will have to check yeah, that out. That. What about your journey? Uh, what I'm working on now, like going to Iceland. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, that is. Going to Iceland? Well, I want to, I want to make it a cool video. And uh, I just kind of like thought of it here recently as I've been doing more of the strongman stuff. Yeah. Uh, so there's a, a rock there. You've probably heard of it called the like Husafell, I think called like the Husafell stone, but it's like an ancient fucking rock. And, uh, it's like up on a mountainside somewhere in Iceland. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm sure people know, but, uh, you can go there and it's like a 400 and like 10 pound rock. Yeah. It's shaped like a triangle almost. You can go there and you can pick this rock up and it's like a, a big stone in the middle and it's like a outline of a circle around it. And uh, you can go there and pick this stone up and walk that whole circle. And if you can do that, you're considered like full strong, which is like, to them or whatever it is like you are Viking strong. You are considered yeah. a Viking. If you can, and it's like, I think like 120 ma- or 120 feet, something like that. The full circle. It's a good workout. Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be killer to go and do that. So, so he's been, got a heavier stone here. Yeah. I've got a heavier bag here. Oh uh, yeah. So, so you're I'm training like, for it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I'm already able to, to pick up the bag that was right at its weight, like, and, and move it around way easier it's probably gonna be a little uncomfortable with the rock like your grip points and that yeah stuff. it'll it's shaped like a triangle so you'll be able to grip it i think better because i'll be able to wrap my arms around mm. and like and hold like that can you Cause, bring chalk because the probably yeah i'm sure they would probably i mean like who knows we'll, we'll see what the rules are but uh that bag the way i'm carrying the bag is like the worst way you carry it like wide like so i can barely fit my arms around it right. so if i can get used to carrying it like that then i, I think i can fucking do that and i want to make like a whole video of it like one day, just have like a YouTube video that's like, oh, I'm going to teach you how to make pasta because this is my recipe for shrimp Alfredo. And the next video is, hey, I'm going to Iceland. I'm going to become uh, a Viking. Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, yeah that's wonderful. I, think, yeah, I, think I that would subscribe. I think that, that would just awesome. be like fun because it's like I, want, I don't want to keep the YouTube videos in any specific space. Like I want to just do everything that I like to do and like fun shit. So I think that would be cool like to just throw that in there as one of them. Yeah, that would be but, sick. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that would be a fun. You you would make video. a really good firefighter. I feel like you, you'd go into a burning home yeah. and you'd get the entire family, the cat, <laughs> the mannequin, and you'd all have them on yeah. your fucking shoulders walking out. Yeah. It's like nobody is stressed. But on like the way it out. would like you'd be charred in the face yeah. a little bit, but like in the good charge, yeah, just yeah. like the black smudge yeah. and just like glistening sweat off the chest. There, there she is, the old Husafell well, stone. Yeah. yeah, it's like fucking huge. But it'd be, nice. it'd be cool. I think it's a little longer than 120 feet, man. That, Is it that that ring of stones? Like that's that's far. Uh, it's, Are you it's, talking about the how far you got to carry it? Yeah. yeah. So they're saying the record right now is 70 meters or 230 feet. Uh, that's the uh, the record for the longest carry. Yeah. yeah. The uh, to do the it's you're called a full like full sturker or something like that. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay. The third of full sturker involved in lifting the stone and walking the full distance around the pen. Mm-hmm. Full sturker. Yeah. Oh, they sell Husafell stones. Yeah, yeah, you can get them uh, like a workout. I think Rogue makes them. Really? Yeah, and Tight, you can just light plates into it and make it as so heavy how, as you want. How heavy are the bags that you're picking up? Because this thing is 410 pounds. 410 pounds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, Dave know, can't yeah. compute that. He was yeah. like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, that's why I got it to that uh, weight so I could be working with it and getting used to hauling it around. Yeah, I think that would be a really fun video. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that well, to you. I'm, I'm going. I mean, right yeah, yeah, I'll be there. My routine, but yeah. I mean, why can't you break the record though? The record for carrying it the longest. Yeah. I mean, I, I maybe. I mean, the record was what? Two hundred and some. Two thirty, I think. Two hundred thirty meters. Two hundred oh, feet. 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 Seventy yeah. meters. Yeah. Bro, you've got seventy meters in you. All right, we'll see. Yeah. All yeah, I we'll see is see. like you're gonna hit like yeah. 200, and then you're gonna look up at the sky, and then it's gonna be Mark Wahlberg like, <laughs> "You can do it, you Caleb." You can do it, Caleb. Like, Thumbs da, 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 da. And Come then through. I like start running. <laughs> yeah, you're, <laughs> you're the only person to run with a Husafell stone. I'm like what? You got the Marky Mark. 18 miles an hour with the then Husafell you, stone. Then you drop it and you start rowing <laughs> what like the fuck? on a row machine. <laughs> They're like, he just oh, rowed 500 just meters in one minute and 10 seconds. 
like, stop, stop. You're just like, suck it, strongman and CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> You destroy I do, both. <laughs> I do want to also make some funny videos where like uh, anytime I do anything with a gun uh, in a video, people are like, okay, fat boy, now run 10 feet. I kind of want to start doing stuff where I carry like 600 pounds and just like carry it for like a uh, hundred yards and then like pick up a gun and like shoot it mm-hmm. and like just do some goofy shit and, and then be like, oh, if you can't carry 600 pounds, a hundred yards and then shoot a gun, you're a pussy, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> and, Oh, you can't carry 600 oh, you pounds can't and carry shoot? 600, you couldn't save your whole group of platoon? buddies. Yeah, your whole, <laughs> yeah. Your whole platoon in yeah. one fell swoop. There was, oh, you might be <laughs> I had two people in each hand. Yeah. And it's yeah. always like old ass bastards that like say this stuff, dude. I'm just like, oh, it's like, and they're all like just... Old out of shape dudes and that are saying this. I'm like, what? I'm like, you can't even walk. That's just the internet yeah, in general. It's so it's, weird, yeah. man. It's so weird. Yeah. yeah. I just want to like train these- how you fight, pussy. You're like, yeah. you're on your deathbed, dog. Yeah, you're like, to die, man. Calm down. Seriously. Welcome to you're the one- internet. Yeah. It's wild. Facebook's the worst, dude. Really? Oh, yes, dude. All the time. And it's like, I think it's because Facebook is so uh, was so readily available to like the old those older people. Like, oh, I'll, I'll make a Facebook to keep up with my grandkids. Well, I think that it was the first platform that it was like a networking platform, uh-huh. and so oh, all yeah. the old people Everybody didn't want to transition exactly. over. They're not on all the other. You shit. want to see what the what 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 a true comment section looks like? Go on anything Ben Shapiro posts on Facebook. Oh shit, dude! Yeah, <laughs> I really? bet, man. But yeah, yeah, it's, I've always got some goofy motherfuckers in my uh, Facebook comments. It's good now though, because like people will be like, "Dude, what the fuck? Are you serious?" Like, it's yeah. Like, I, I saw one. I never really usually look at comments, but I yeah. posted um, some photos of me and my wife at the Ranger Ball because yeah. I was so awesome to go, and it was like, you know, it's it like a heartfelt thing for me because sure, yeah. it's really cool. And there's a couple people like, "Sweet fucking gay shoes, like Air Jordans." I was like. Man, what yeah, I like wearing J's sometimes. Yeah, what just, a it, people, weird people get so polarized. Dude, like, with it's their so opinions. weird, man. Like and I know they're made in China, whatever, dude. I fucking whatever. I rock down, them brother. once in a while. Yeah, like I know they say don't read your comments and stuff, but like sometimes I want to, like, you know, like I kind of want to be able to talk to people that like my shit every now and then. Sometimes yeah, I want to be like, yeah, oh, of hey, course. thanks, bro. Like, yeah, I want to be able to do a little communication back and forth. Sometimes I'll, I feel like that's fun and that's good, but uh, man, I always regret it. Really? Like look at them and I'll be like, oh, nice one. And I'm like, what? And, <laughs> and it's always like the most random shit. Like yeah, there's always a naysayer. It's like, I just had a chocolate ice cream cone. It's like, oh, vanilla hater. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. You must be racist. That's always on the internet. It's like you, you can save six puppies and they'll fucking cuss you out for not saving seven. Dude, and you're yeah. like, my bad. Like, yeah. True save seven, fucking pussy. Yeah. What or the they're giving money away. They're always like, why didn't you give more? Yeah. What? I gave a yeah. million dollars. I mean, this the craziest man. thing is too, like, bitch. like, I don't, I don't understand some people's just level of intelligence because I see, you know, there's what? a bunch of people that, that a bunch of girls that will post like, a dude will straight up comment like, stay bent over and let me lick that thing, and then they they post. The, his profile with his wife and fucking mom oh, and yeah. everybody attached to it. It's like, yeah. you're an idiot. Yeah. Calm down. Guy. Like, do you or know, people see fuck, this? But yeah. yeah. People can see this brother. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your children can see your comments. <laughs> Dad, stop. Yeah, stop telling that girl that you, you're just going to lick her upside mom, down. Dad, That's stop. not mom. <laughs> God. Yeah. The internet is, 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 is a, is a fun, it's a fun place. Yeah. It really you, is. You I, realize that people really are as dumb as, some like like the the bullies from high school movies you're like mm, people aren't this dumb people aren't this mean and rude at for no reason they are yeah and like it's and you're like wow i i think it's like half of them are probably people just trolling to elicit a response they and are. to like set and the comment section it. on fire because mm-hmm. I, I found that a lot of currency of people on social media that don't have big accounts but like respond in the comment section their currency is like I got 17 likes, so they base their like self worth off the like how many people interact with their comment. Yeah. So it's like they play to that like countercultural like crowd within there's your comment another, section. There's another thing too that we overlook, and I think it's because of where we came from. You know, we came from the military government side. Like, there are a lot of people that are fucking on drugs all goddamn. Day. True. Well, that's like, and you forget that. True. Like, and you go, oh, and you you're, could, you could take one look at them and say, you're but fucked that's, up. But how fun yeah. would that be? Like the guy that was like, hey, fatty, can you do this? Like, we should just go show up at his house and just live a day in the life of him. Like, not even be rude to the motherfucker. I just want to live in a day yeah. in the oh, life. Oh, we're doing and meth. See, like, 
at what point is he like, I'm going to go on this random dude's fucking like Instagram or TikTok and talk shit. And I don't even know the guy or whatever, you know? Dude, and I bet you if I mention it, he'll probably be in the comments of this video. A few nights ago, I noticed like some dude just comments, like spams me on every single video I post, everything I post on Facebook. And he just says like, dad question mark like oh every i've noticed yeah. him in the past couple of days yeah yeah on, on every single thing i i post hey if you're listening to this dude whoever yeah. you are it's a lot cooler if you say daddy so like <laughs> let's change that to daddy uh, on I, just, or just say something funny or say something different and maybe you'll get a response he's probably fucked up dude <clears throat> but he said he like i've noticed he's done it on like every single thing i post and i was like oh, man i was like this guy again and it's like immediate it's as soon as i post something so i, I blocked him and this is at like 1 a.m. I'm just like on my phone, TV episode. Yeah. He just stopped. And I'm just like scrolling for a minute. And, I'm like, oh. and then I see he follows me on every other thing and then spams it on like 20 posts on Instagram. And I was like, oh, my God. And then block him there, s- subscribes on on Instagram or uh, YouTube, and then hits me up on TikTok and, and like everything. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, it's 1 a.m. And this guy's doing this. And then I noticed on my stream, like the stream wasn't even on, and he was in the comment section of a offline stream saying it. Like I oh, got wow. on, I got on to stream the next day. And he's like, oh, are you bussy hurt? Don't be bussy hurt, dad. Dad, 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 dad. Like 20 comments. I was like, what the fuck? Like this is just like a mental. He person. might wear your skin, dude. Yeah, like you, like are, there's a point of like trolling, and there's a point of like, like you're just you just are a creep now. Yeah, yeah, like, but I've I've realized though it's like because you 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 think in the in the environment of you live in, and yeah. you're like a go getter, you're like a successful guy, and you're like creative, and all these other great attributes. Like a lot of most people don't have that life. They sit and usually like a nine to five job, yeah. bored as shit, and that's. That's what they do for, or they're just fucking crazy. Yeah, that sounds man. a little I feel cuckoo. Like, yeah, I feel like you got like for that to even be your fun time, like you got to be messed up. A well, little I mean, bit I was watching head. like, and I haven't watched this in forever, but we the other day uh, when everybody from Snake Farm was here, we just it randomly like started playing cops, but it was kind of like best of like reels and shit like that. Yeah. So it was just strung together. And dude, like, yeah, there's this episode at like 9 p.m. in Nebraska. They respond to this guy's house and this girl's like, he's, he's fucked up. I don't know what's going on. And like, and then they, they get there. It's like 9 PM. And she's like, well, he just, he, I guess he just started a job at this tow truck place. And he asked me on a date and I went on the date and we got back here and he was just like, Hey, you want to do a little meth? And she's like, yeah, I did a little. And he did a little. And now he's like super fucked up. And he was just like fucking wrecked. Like, and these are just normal looking people. They're not like. They were just, 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 this woman was probably 40 years old and was just like, Dude, I, I, I got a babysitter and I went on a date yeah. and then we did a little meth. Like, Jesus. what the fuck? Dude, I saw, I was watching this like drug cartel f- series the other day oh. and, and part of it, they were showing some, some clips, but the same thing. There was two kids, like infants in the back of the car. Both parents are dead on the side of the road on the steering wheel and passenger seat because what they'd done, they shot up with their kids in the fucking car, but it was laced with like a, a lethal dose of fentanyl. Oh, yeah. And so the, they probably felt sick and turtle. But I'm like, what fucking parents are you? First of all, why are you shooting up? It was just like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? People are yeah. gnarly. They were just going to pick up diapers. They're like, you know what? Let's do a little bit of meth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's, like, like, let's, uh, let's cook me, this spoon up real quick. Like, let's let's fucking up. shoot. Let's light one up real quick. Oh, they just buckled the babies in. We're, they're heating that spoon We're just up. going to 7-Eleven for a quick go, yeah. corn dog and diapers. Let's, let's do some fucking heroin. Jeez. It's a good Tuesday, man. Jeez. I mean, you they don't got to worry about them babies no more. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I remember there's some responsible yeah. parents. I remember watching them. the Wild Wonderful Whites and like like just them interviewing them in their house and there's they just have like a mattress on the floor and like weird blankets, everything yeah. stained. And the girls explaining how like, oh well, if I drive like two counties over, I could get two or three dollars more a pill. Yeah, you're like what? Yeah, they got it down, dude. We were looking at. Uh, because of that, we were looking at Giphy comments, some dude talking like crap, and we started like down a, down a spiral of like people just being rude and like then just looking at their profiles, and it was like all people from back home or like somewhere in that like general area, and they were all druggies, dude. Like, really? You want to know like a pattern? I've some seen mustard teeth, like all fucked up looking, with scabs all over them. Like, I was like the, the pattern I see with people that make fucked up comments 
is they have like 30 of the same profile picture yeah, yeah. where they used a border. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, oh, Facebook. Yeah. You're like, you're like, these people don't know how to fucking use they don't Facebook. Know how to do anything. Like, yeah, they, they don't reloaded know how to take a the picture. same yeah. they, they reloaded the same profile picture 30 times. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like because I yeah, I got into it with a bunch of people over on Ben Shapiro's page because <laughs> he posted about Will Smith's son speaking at the psychedelic science conference in Denver. Yeah. That's talking about all the stuff they're doing with medical psychedelics and stuff like that. And Jaden says, Oh, it was, it was our mom that like actually introduced us to the fact that these things exist. Yeah. Well, all these people in the comments are like, how it go figure. Will Smith's wife gave drugs kids. I'm like, (laughs) Her kids are 30, 24, and 21. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's not what this like, Nobody. <laughs> you can't believe you'd give drugs to kids. Little baby, little <laughs> baby Jaden doing his. They crack open a fucking Coors Light and hand it to their 15 year old son. Yeah, like put a bottle, like a nipple on yeah. it. <laughs> I, I use your line all the time, Jared. It's when you say everyone is full of shit. And like, I'm full of shit sometimes. It's it's fucking, it's, it, it's, it's true. That's very true. Yeah. It's I true. mean, Everybody's a hypocrite. Everybody's full of shit and will defend. And then I drank you know, piss ridicule. and ate a fucking pie tonight. I'm full of shit. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be building some good shit. Oh, God. Yeah. Stop. Oh, it. man. <laughs> that poop's going to be flushes. gross. Yeah. No, I mean, a lot of people talk in absolutes all the time. And you're like, you don't know. You don't. Everything you, don't you just anything, said, that's, that's, there's no proof of that. <laughs> no. Like, like, that's not real. You have no data to back that up <laughs> Dude, the L- so i just got back from la and the crazy thing is we're talking about drug and drug addiction and all that they i guess what they've done and it's it's like in brentwood i believe but they unless they can get housing i think it's the upwards of fifty thousand like individual units and and don't don't like take this as law I, I'm, I'm rephrasing of what i heard from someone that knows about it like fifty thousand units of like um housing for homeless people before they'll kick them off the streets. So before they do that, like the most, some of the most expensive real estate in the United States of America, in the world, nearly there's just homeless people everywhere. And these, they're not just like, they're all, they're all completely addicted to drugs. I mean, yeah, they yeah. were like three zombies just sitting there and like yeah. tweaking. And I think about it. Cause I'm like on alert a little bit around there. I'm like, what is it like to have like your kids walking around the street and shit with like, like yeah. fucking there's like needles on the ground and like lighters and then like a, a fucking bivy sack. It was just Oh yeah. It's kind of crazy like what what some cities are just allowing like this to progress so so gnarly. Anyways, there's no point to that story other than that's sure, what I just saw yeah, in LA and I was scary. like, I'm glad I live in Texas. Yeah, yeah. LA is disgusting. Actually, no, Texas sucks. Don't move here in anybody. <laughs> yeah, Texas is awful, actually. Don't, don't Texas come. is we're bears, all leaving. There's bears here, there's, they will jack you. There's off. fucking bear there, there's anaconda bears. Yeah. Anaconda yeah. rattlesnake bears. Yeah. yeah. Bad, They're dude. fucking terrifying. Yeah. Me and Caleb almost get eaten every day. Yeah. And jerked off. Oh man, it's those pads. Awful. I'm raw, man. <laughs> fucking dude, bears. We'll try and fucking jerk you off. They will. They don't know how either. No, man. it's horrible. They don't know what the hell they're like, doing. They just smack. I do really hard, I and they don't realize how sharp though. their talons are. I think it's the fear that makes me finish. The weird part is, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fear finisher. <laughs> I like. To be, ah, oh. I like to be in fear. When how I you scared me? I came again. You know, I got the scaredy comes. I mean, I, I don't know who you makes. Caleb want to go to the haunted but, house later? No, I don't oh. want to. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what makes this shirt, but I keep, I've seen it a few times this week. It says, don't bully me, I'll come. come yeah, dude. That's so good. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's a really that's real funny, funny shirt. Yeah. Because, you know, Jackie will yeah. bully the fuck out of you. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Jackie will fucking come on you. Yeah, he will come on you. He's fucking he covered will, I don't know who Jackie is. Yeah. That's who's on Caleb's that's shirt. Jackie. That's Jackie. Jackie's oh. our, our mascot. He's a bobcat. He's missing oh, one shit. eye. Yeah. He's got yeah. a glass eye. Yeah, it's a bobcat that kills donkeys only. Dude, I went to buy a bobcat the other day. They're so expensive. They're what? like eighty five thousand dollars. <laughs> we're trying to okay. kill a bobcat. Yeah, you're, you're trying, trying to, to buy one. one. No, not wow. the actual animal, like a fucking skid steer. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, I mean, I would, yeah, buy oh. a those bobcat. Are, yeah, those are. Yeah, expensive. the ninety one and a half horsepower Kabotos are about ninety one thousand dollars. Yeah, they're fucking expensive. Yeah, that's what, a weird fact. What are you trying that? to do? You trying I mean, to carve you out I'm trying to get some steers. You could have called somebody that might want to split one. You know. Yeah. True. I didn't buy it. I'm just saying there might be somebody. You know, they might want to. I, I did look. This is split such a little bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> they're the fucking John Deere's. They're air, they have AC, they have the automatic detachment. So, like, you can pull up to the bucket, press one lever, pull off the bucket, yep. and go right Change into a out. fucking shredder. I, I was, cool. he's like, man, you want to drive this thing? I'm like, ah, I knew I shouldn't have gotten it. I got it. I'm like, fuck, I need to buy this thing. 
I don't know why. I want to like just drive down the street in a skid steer or like, I don't know, like put machine guns on it. There's skid so many steers options. Are fun. It's like, just, we could uh, build everything with a skid steer. You could steer. make your own killdozer, dude. Dude. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, really, wasn't Brandon going to do that? I wish Brandon would have done that. Yeah. We built a track in like four days. Oh, yeah. Are you guys going to watch Brandon's fight? Uh, well, I'm, I'm talking about going. You should now. go. I yeah, wish I, I've. I plans. think I'm uh, going to look at stuff tonight to go. I have yeah. a high school reunion. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're going to troll the shit out of those. This Saturday? No, we all talk. Wait, Everybody. a high school reunion with this Saturday or this Saturday? No, 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 no. no. This Saturday is. The I didn't know if you were like playing no. with your band. No, no, like, no, no. This Saturday is playing yeah. this Saturday. Yeah, at my high this school Saturday. Who are you? <laughs> yeah. I probably will play a song. I gotta of ask course James. You will. Yeah, yeah, James is, but I gotta ask James because he's the band, and I'm not trying to encroach on somebody else that has a show going. Oh. But I'll be like, "Hey, you care if I play Mind one? If I take this, Do I, can I play you? one? How many people go? So this is what your 20 year? Yeah. How many people go to that? I think there's about 70, 75. Wow. Yeah. I missed my 10 year. I do want to go to my 20 year. The 10 year was fun as fuck, dude. Really? We all stayed out until like 5 a.m. Like. You were probably cool in high school. I was fucking, I was an emo skateboarding nerd. I was an emo skateboarding nerd. Really? But I mean, everybody else in our high school was pretty cool. I mean, they didn't give a shit. They're all fucking rad. Like everybody was kind of, it was, was cool. Yeah. He's just fucking warming them up for this weekend, you know? No, it's, it's so, true. Yeah. Like uh, teen movies were always like super confusing. Yeah. Like living in California and like seeing Christmas and snow. Like it's like, well, you don't get that. Yeah. Right. Like teen movies were like, there's fucking like division and clicks and like, for the most part, everybody was pretty cool with each other. Yeah. I yeah. feel like That's if you're still like perpetuating clicks that were 20 years ago, yeah. you need to figure out your fucking life. But I mean, there, there were like hot, the hot, cool, popular girls. Yeah. But they fucking talked to everybody. Everybody, yeah. Like they would hang out. Yeah. They would come over to my house because I knew how to fucking work Napster and make CDs. That's fucking so like, good. Yeah, I used to make CDs for girls all the yeah, time, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, will you make this for my boyfriend that's three and a half years older than us? Sure. Yeah. God, yes. I'm, I'm just warming her up. I'll get her yeah, someday. She'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Ours was ours was pretty cool. Like our tenure, we were only missing maybe a dozen people. Like, that's how many people went. Oh, wow. And then this one, yeah, it's going to be smaller, but it's also, like, the roster of people that are going, there's everybody I talk to constantly. So it's like, oh, this is going to be fun. You still talk to everybody you went to high school with? Yeah. I think I talked to two people, maybe. I mean, like, I've got the McGrew crew. Why did I ask that? The of McGrew course. crew group text with my whole skate crew. Like, even, like, that that thing doesn't stop going off. They don't okay. shut up. Like... <laughs> <laughs> And right. you've got one of you know one of them's a, a, a an O three in the Navy as a as a pilot. The other, the other one's a Tac P. One's oh. a chef in San Francisco. The other one is really high up in Apple. Like we're all fucking all over the place. But that's it's dope. like yeah, that's dope. Hmm. Yeah, but I think I only really talked to like a handful of people I went to school with. Still, uh, I mean, like some of them are like my best friends that I like still talk to all the time. But uh, yeah, like other than that, just maybe. Less than 10 for sure that I talk, like talk to at least once a month, something like that. But you're just generally, were you a social guy? Because he's just a generally a social yeah. guy. He loves yeah, it. Yeah. I've always like, yeah, hidden yeah. from I, people. I like to hang out a lot. And yeah, we did a lot of stuff in high school. I didn't do any sports or anything, but I was always hanging out. I was like the the goofy guy. Yeah. But like, it was the same in my high school. Like we had, like there was like the dudes who were jocks and there was like the hot girl group. There was like the dudes who were ultra redneck and then like the weirdo kids, but like they all like hung out so yeah it's pretty cool yeah fuck yeah yeah that would work yeah <laughs> are you guys so you're gonna eat this hamburger no absolutely yeah when not. he turns 100 we need I'm to gonna, get a timer i can touch it oh don't just touch the top it's, it's starting to smell no touch the top touch the bread oh wow yeah yeah is it starting to smell did you get a whiff of it you're close no, to it i'm not smelling it oh I did you the, smell it no i didn't smell it i took I'll the dome off to like get gift. the fog out and it's yeah like area. It just smells like like chicken nuggets almost. Yeah, I don't smell it. That it's, makes sense. It's not it's starting to get it's a little preserved. a little potency in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 How long does this thing last? Didn't they do that with the McDonald's hamburger? I remember like on the internet, it was mm -hmm. like fucking seven years or yeah, something yeah, before it decomposed. Really bad. That's really bad that that bread looks there isn't a single fucking speck of mold on that bread. I know, but the, the fact that that's what you eat all the time is hilarious. Yeah. I need to stop. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I need to stop. I'm a bad boy. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna be filling up those freezers real soon, anyway. Uh, I was gonna extend that to you. Okay. I go ahead. I want to hear. Well, this. I mean, we yeah, we've yeah. been planning a trip. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go get a, a bison and an elk, 
in uh we were gonna get picked up in a limo too yeah where are you gonna go to Ox Ranch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I didn't realize that they. Uh, I mean, this is yeah. a hasty plan, right? Yeah. Now. I mean, yeah. I'm. I'm. I mean, if I'm invited, I would. I would join you. Oh. You, you know. know. Well, I mean, I think, offset some yeah. costs. I think there's a meats. spare seat in the. In yeah. The limo. I think there, there, there's okay. probably some room in the limo. There's a room in the limo. <laughs> I mean, we could probably we could, shoot it from the limo. Dave has a seat, and a camera guy has yeah. a seat. So I think there's one more seat. Yeah. There's plenty of room. Well, I just shot a bison, but I would shoot another one because yeah. you can never have too much bison meat. But I, I We're think we need coats. to make those fucking bison yeah. jackets. That's literally I what I talked about. I was like, man, I was like, I gotta make a jacket, like, because we want to mount the heads for sure, but I want to turn the rest of it into a jacket. Well, that's that's what's happening in the living room we're yeah. getting rid of the tv above the fireplace bison heads going there caleb's coat on the right yeah. my coat on the left of the fireplace so they yeah. just hang and then, and then when guests comes over we both walk over to the coats and we'll we put them on, on, on and yeah. kind of assert our dominance yeah it's you and know the, the our elegance yeah, i don't yeah, want to say true. dominance yeah, yeah. because we're not we're trying not to like trying to be a yeah overboard. but we're trying to say Look hey, at us, like we did, dude. This. We had a little murder marathon the other day. I, I I've been seeing, I, yeah, boom. all kinds of stuff. We shot a bison, a water buffalo, a neil guy, and an axis. And then I went to go pick up the meat four days ago. You had to get uh, shout freezers. to Woodbury's processor in Kerrville. They're yeah. awesome. Uh, but holy shit! Yeah, what'd you I have? It oh. was. I would just say it was six thousand dollars to get my meat processed, and I wasn't expecting that. I went, what the fucking fuck, fuck like that. But yes, we have. I have so much food right now. If you guys need it, so I'm mean, giving my dad, my neighbor, yeah. and of course letting everybody eat. But and then I'll go. How much is go great for the fire pit? Fill up? Fire pit. Yeah, we're gonna build a well. A it's really a, kill, barbecue a barbecue like, area. Ooh. Yeah, it's a. It'll just be like a nice circle, would you say? Like a, a it's it's gonna be like a whole like park. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just gonna we're doing a deal with Rec Tech, and they're sending like all their new models. Hell yeah! And so we're gonna like build this like nice place out for it with the right the, here, the like right as you walk huge, down Caleb's steps. Yeah, oh, that's that turning tree. into a yeah. giant cook station with multiple barbecues, and then wow. we're gonna have a freezer and a fridge that's just for meats right yeah, there, yeah. and then. They're doing astroturf and pergolas with lighting with picnic wow. tables. So like all the food now happens over here. Yeah. Oh, that's so like, awesome. So like when they redo the deck and stuff by the pool, there'll be no more outdoor kitchen and stuff there because when you eat, you come through the gate and you've got seating for like thirty and mm -hmm. all this. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's a that's a good concept. I yeah, like that. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna make that into a, a video of just, you know, cooking shit all the time with it. But then we'll just be fucking set for like a year. With dude, that's fucking me, dude. Dude, I had 23 boxes. I don't know what the exact poundage came yeah. out to be, but we, I feel we went to Mason and I went to uh, Home Depot and had to buy three new freezers. Yeah. And then I got screamed at because we climbed the scaffolding and pulled them off the top. They're like, no, you can't be up there. I was like, um, shut up, Home Depot. Like, yeah. you look like a fucking emo twink. Yeah, like, you're, you're not going to get, gonna get this thing? Out there. Like, <laughs> you see how big I am? Oh, <laughs> I haven't been drinking and no carbs. <laughs> and no fucking it. skin. Yeah, it's right tight now. like a tiger. <laughs> But I, dude, I filled a whole fucking stand-up freezer. I think it was like 13 cubic, whatever, uh, just with hunter sticks. The, those dry... Yeah. Dude, I'm addicted to those things. Yeah. I don't know if they're good for you. There's probably a lot of fat in them, but they're fucking mm, delicious. It's probably fine. It's like The natural. Chipotle raspberry, dude. Oh, shit. Mm. That sounds well, awesome. As soon as we're done with the barbecue thing, then that's when a bunch of our cooking stuff will come out because yeah. we're going to shoot the shit out of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We'll be filming and, all kinds of fun You know, stuff. trying to figure out... I guess we'll do it when we when it, when I get back. But I really want to figure out what our, you know, the TFP vlog is going to be. Mm -hmm. Is it a new channel? Do we put it on mine? Just call it, you know, when I grow up. Yeah. Because we need to start shooting the things, the fucking wild oh, I thought shit. I you yeah, start yeah. growing up. And I was like. No, no, not growing probably up. Probably not. We just yeah. need to shoot what goes on. I mean, yeah. in the last fucking two weeks, what the fuck? Danny uh, Warsnop's yeah, yeah, been, been here. Yeah. Look, you know, CJ. That's one thing we've been really bad about yeah. over the years is the amount of crazy, exciting shit that goes on. And then I just think it's normal. Like, well, everybody hangs out with rock stars and shoots machine guns and does this. And I forget that. That's. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, we not, should, yeah, I just don't like fucking filming it because it's I like, do. it's sometimes it's for you. You're trying to live in the moment. Yeah, it's for me. I get that because I was talking about that recently too. I'm like, man, like I need to start doing these things and like being a part, like literally just the thing, going to see Brandon Spy. I was like, that sounds fun. It sounds like I'm going to be able to hang out with a lot of my friends, play, we'll probably do some fun content while we're there. I'm like, but I'm like, but do I want to make content while I'm there? Because that's going to be fun time with yeah. friends. And I'm like, no, I need to do it because there's going to be, it's going to be cool stuff. I want to do something about it. it. Like I'm sure we'll come up, even if it's just like little skits, whatever, it'll be fun. Uh, but if you yeah, go to Brandon's fight and you meet anybody that knows Sam Hyde, exactly. Yeah. Just like tell I, them yeah. that's, the one person I just want to meet. Okay. Sam Hive? Yeah. yeah. No clue who that is. 
He's a genius. Cool. He's a genius. Fish bucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fish bucks. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, you know, I get that, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of times that I'm like, yeah, I need to go to this thing, but I like don't film shit. And then I'm like, man, I wish I filmed shit. Like, yeah, I because then the people time. ask about it. I see it in the comments. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. hey, is there a video coming about you coming know, out about you and Caleb, you know, yeah. doing this? I'm like, oh, no. should have. Yeah. Dude, that's, I kind of tried that the vlog style for a little bit. Like, yeah. I, I really liked the demolition video we did, but then I, I, I didn't even post the minigun one because yeah. it's like, it was fun, but then it's just like not my style. Yeah, and, yeah. And, I feel it. I don't I have to do I it right now. I can't get into so. it either. Like, yeah. I mean, dude, I, music's my thing. I, I have, have go the know how. Yeah. I have the equipment. I mean, yeah. I was looking at the Firebird yesterday going, fuck, if I would have filmed us building this thing over the last year, that channel alone probably would have been huge. Like, yeah. but it's like, I didn't want to. Yeah. What's well, even like Noel bought her 67 Mustang and she's been like put a little bit on stories about like redoing it, but she could have, that could have been a whole vlog and dudes would have been a channel fucking yeah. foaming at the mouth to watch it because she actually knows how to work in cars. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There's, I think there's, I think everybody does that. They feel like, uh, they're like, no, nah, this is like a, a me fun time or a me and my friends special moment. Yeah. I, I don't need to be filming this, but then you're like, man, I wish I did. Like, I like just want to piss more motherfucking people off. And I feel like I've been a little like neutral lately. So I think I'm going to come in hard this year. <laughs> okay. First one's Jody. That one's going to be a good Jody's one. great. We oh, redid great. Jolene by uh, Dolly Parton. Okay. Legend as Jody, which is the guy that bangs your wife when you're overseas. Oh. Um, that was a fun it's one. Coming down the already, already shooting oh, yeah. a music video for it. And then I'm doing another like rock song that's going to be very rowdy. Hell Lots yeah. of boobies in there. Oh wow. It's kind of a song about boobies. Okay. I just want to like you know, I don't really feel like in in this world 2023 we we appreciate tits like we used to. Yeah. We you need know to bring now it's like oh you're a misogynist. It's like nah, no, they're nah, fucking awesome. We're, like we like tits. And women. there's plenty of people like man the Twitter world. They they're all about that. They still yeah. love tits on there. That's, well, that's everybody. Yeah. I mean, look at like how prolific OnlyFans have been. People yeah. like tits. People like, like what's tits. wrong with putting yeah. them in a music video? I get it. Yeah. Thank you. I have the Caleb stamp. It's like the organic yeah, yeah. stamp. Like, well, yeah. Like like we're shooting stuff. we're shooting party professor music video August 4th and 5th. Oh yeah, that's right. Mr. Tom Flynn has uh locked in to edit it. Nice. He's one of the best rock fucking video editors Who's there. Who's filming it? Uh Owen. Oh, cool. That's right. Yeah. So party. Yeah. Well, there well, we go. What? I said, well, there we go. We got music yeah. on the way. Yeah. We got music on the way. We've got these shirts now. Yeah, we got all you kinds know, of Burn shirts. all orphanages. The Jackie. Whoa. Uh, Jackie. The, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what? What? You don't like yeah. this design? It's it's aggressive. Yeah. No, she's like crying in the top. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. that makes it better. And she's got a teddy bear. Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She's probably going to heaven. <laughs> and the bobcat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then Jackie the bobcat. Oh, Jackie. And then and then look at Dave's punish yeah. punish me. Dave's got the punish, punish me. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. that one's solid because I want to. I want to do an event and then just wear that. Wear that. Yeah. <laughs> and like, so, brother, no. Oh my god. Oh, hey, sorry. I got hats it. off to Jack Mandeville on yeah. that one he because came, he, yeah, that yeah is, he came up with that. Of you know, you know, he loves to make fun of people that wear Punisher skulls. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. he's like, he, he had this sketch that had the Punisher skull with the fucking ball gag, and I was like, dude, we're gonna run that. It's Hell, money. Yeah. yeah. So great work, Jack. Yeah, yeah. A lot of fun shirts. When the uh, we got the. Peacock tuna one. Peacock tuna is out. Yeah. yeah, I really want that one. We'll have to explain that to Matt yeah, as soon yeah. as we're done. And yeah, uh, yeah the website, timeforpie.co. Uh, they are right there. And, you know, we had Jamie Lynn Wren uh, model oh, yeah. them today. Model a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. You can go ahead. You got the merch up. Go ahead and check that out right yeah. All right. Yeah. Time you know, for pie. We, we know how to do it. We yeah. now we have got a really shirts. hot girl to yeah. come in and wear this shirt. Oh, yeah. You got yeah. like some tatted up babe on there. Good for you. She's riding, what is that called? Like a, a three wheeler. Motorized yeah. tricycle. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's really funny with her wiring the Punish Me shirt oh, yeah. <laughs> with the gag on there. Yeah. 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 Dave didn't think of it until after she left. He's like, oh, we have the stockades back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. good stuff. Yeah. It's good. All right. We'll, we'll see yeah. you next time. Yeah. Thanks for coming.